we're back with more timelines. Okay, our second and final example of timelines, for now, we'll keep using timelines here when the interest rates change and all sorts of that. That's really exciting. So, yeah, let's read through our scenario and see what it looks like. What are we doing? A savings account is opened with a deposit of 25,000 rand. 18 months later, some money is withdrawn. Three years after the account was opened, a second deposit is made into the account. Calculate the accumulated amount at the end of four years if interest is calculated at 8.4% per annum compounder quarterly. Full stop. So, a few things going on. Let's get our timeline at the ready. So, we've got a timeline here that starts at T0. And here we can see it goes three years at the end of four years. So, we know that it's four years, so we know this whole thing is T4. Now, what you can do is say, well, let's just put it. Let's put in T2, T1. Let's have all the years represented. Maybe something doesn't happen every year, but there they are. And let's fill in what we know. The savings account is open with a deposit of 25000 So we thought ahead and we made sure there was enough space to put this in. And there we go. So we put 25,000 in. Let's put 25,000 rand. So exciting. It's like we've got so much money. 18 months later, 16,800 rand is withdrawn. So 18 months. Now hang on a second. There's no 18 months, but 18 months is over here. It's halfway between. It's not T18 though. Our T's are years. So T1, end of first year. T2, end of second year. So 18 months, we're going to just indicate it here as halfway and go, we're going to withdraw 16,800. My suggestion was, let's put that in brackets to show we're taking it out. The accountants in the room can correct me and say we should do something differently, I'm sure. Three years after the account was opened, so that's my T3 over here, right? Not a roll, right? T3, that one there. Definitely was three. T3, 32,600 is deposited in. Cool, so let's put in some more money. Let's put in 32,600 rand. Calculate the accumulator at the end of four years, 8.4%. Okay, so let's do our last bit here. Let's put that our interest rate. I is... 8.4% per annum compounded quarterly. Now, although it's the same interest rate the whole time, I want us, I know that in our next examples, we're going to change the interest rate. That's why I want us to get used to writing the interest rate in our timeline. The timeline now shows us everything. It shows us the money we're putting in, the money we're taking out, when these things happen, and the interest rates. Everything's embedded in our timeline. So let's just put together our nice big equation. Um, are we feeling red? So here's what we're wondering. What happens over here? This is our final amount A. So we accumulate our 25,000 rand. And we put that in for compounded quarterly. So I know it's over four. The interest rate is 8% or 84 at least. And now we can see 25,000. That's for the full four years. Four times four, 16. Then I like going left to right. Instead of going, let's look at all the money we put in and all the way we take out. Let's just go left to right. 25,000. Because then we can kind of in our minds go, cool, we've dealt with that amount. Now we need to deal with this amount. So let's subtract the 16,800, along with all the interest that it would have accrued if we had left it in the bank. So it's over 4, it's 0, 0,084. This one's in for, that was half a year. So we've got one full year, two full years, two and a half years. So two and a half times 4, which gives us 10, I think. Or we could have said that this is a year and a half, so... We've got 16 altogether minus the 6 
Either way, we've got to the power of 10. Okay, so we're going left to right and going cool. We've accounted for that. Now we've got this last bit, the 32,600. We've put it in, so we're going to add the 32,600 plus all the interest that we've accrued on it. And whoa, something went funny there. Okay, so let's put it over there so we can see. So we've got 1 plus 0, 0.84. Let's duck out the way here. Um, so we've got this was in, I'm going to scroll up and down, T3, so it's in for one year, so it's in for four quarters. And just to be thorough going, okay, so we've dealt with everything along the way. Now we whip out our calculator, and we clear all that fun that we had in the last one, um, and let's see what we've got. Let's move this down. Too many things going on on my screen. Okay, so there we go. We've got that, and we've got the calculator up. Now remember, this bit looks the same in each of them. So we've got some green, I think. So this part looks the same in each of them. So let's store that in a variable called A. So let's put that in A, put it in A, put it in A. So on our calculator, we're going to go, that part was 1, let me put it in brackets, 1 plus 0, 0,084 divided by 4. So that whole bit there is going to be the same each time. We're just going to call it A from now on. And we can go shift, store, A. So now that's sitting in A. So now this next part is just that much easier. 25,000 alpha A to the power of 16. Because now what this part here looks like is just 25,000 A to the 16. That feels a whole lot simpler than 25,000 and typing that each now. Okay, right. Minus 16,800 alpha A to the power of 10 plus 32,600 alpha, where was that? A to the power, where's to the power of Four, that part's, I think, half behind the calculator at the moment. And we go equals, and we get, my calculator gives me, I'm going to write it above here, so it's on the same page. But this bit equals 49,607, 607, and then it's 070, so 07, and there it is. That was cool. Okay, so we'll move on to changing interest rates. That'll start next time, but it will be the same idea. Timeline, interest rate, it's just that instead of the same interest rate the whole time, and then there's another little bit of fun with it, of course. Okay, so that's that. Remember the prep to do as well, the homework to do. There are only three here, two, four, six. So three timelines for you to do. Practice those. Enjoy.